Look at this, 1,794 people in my trading group. About to hit 1,800. I want to give a few shout outs to my trading group. CBC, thank you so much. I'm up $13,000 this week. Your group's amazing. I made $47,000 in April because of your setups. You're, this person's up 2,400, 1,500, 647%. This person doubled my money after a phone call that we had uh, just yesterday. This person said, I woke up and I had 73% gains in data. Thank you. I woke up with 58% gains while I was sleeping. Another $1,000. That's $4,000 in seven days. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out, breakouts, posts, and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos. You'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this market, I want to ask you to smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to keep you up to date every single day on everything that's important to make sure you're very successful and profitable in this cryptocurrency space. Leave a comment in the comment box real quick. Let me know what number like you were. Jumping right into the market today in crypto. Sideways, but Bitcoin's quite green. This is a Bitcoin daily chart. And you can see yesterday we were talking about how we were watching this upper trend line to see how the price action reacts to it. And it did break higher did break higher. Now it's at the upper trend line of this yellow rising wedge. So essentially that's overhead resistance. China wakes up, Asia wakes up in about an hour and 15 minutes. We're going to have a pretty decent daily candle close. Again, the bulls weren't able to, able to push back past 10,000, 10,500. That's really make or break for Bitcoin. And bulls have to put a higher high in. So we, we want a high over here that's higher than this previous high this price action is going to continue in this pattern until it breaks out to the upside and some type of retest and move higher would be, I mean, you might get a $4,000 pump if it breaks out and retests just to show you what that would look like. So if the price action breaks out and comes back down and retests and would spring $4,000 gains are possible. Now, if it doesn't, 68% chance of a break to the downside, not good for the bulls. This is what I stayed up all night doing last night. I'm like giving play by play of the, of the gap. The CME gap did get filled. The overhead gap got filled. Gap boys filled it. So again, you can see Bitcoin after this little double bottom put in an amazing move to the upside. Now the question is, and I talked to you about this yesterday, it's a possible head and shoulders type pattern. So this high needs to be higher than this high. So, I mean, potentially this could be some type of bull flag right here you know which again could break higher the bulls need to push it above this level uh you do have a previous bearish macd cross this is only the hourly time frame rsi is exiting overbought we talked about maybe we get some type of double top on the rsi and and a pullback which is have to watch all eyes on bitcoin right now these so these these alts are just not really performing that amazing because they, they have to all btc pairs have to outperform bitcoin and it's tough when Bitcoin's running higher. So people focus on Bitcoin when this happens. This is a zoomed in version, 15 minute chart. And you can see amazing run up for Bitcoin. And we had a blow off top early in the morning. And essentially Bitcoin ran up to about 99.50. If this price action does break higher, you'll see 10,000, 10,050. And then the next overhead resistance is 10,500 a move to the downside and you're looking at 93 50 possibly 9200 the lower trend line of this rising wedge lately i've been kind of stuck on the bitcoin hash rate just because a lot of times you see that when the mining hash rate 
increases, the price increases of Bitcoin. And now the, the hash rate is decreasing. So you'd think, well, why isn't the Bitcoin price decreasing if the hash rate's decreasing? So you have to remember that there's a bunch of inefficient miners that have left the network. Like, so the hash rate for Bitcoin's dropped 30%, but the price action hasn't followed. So, you know, I found this kind of cool explanation. And you can see this is miners' revenue falling off a cliff. So this person stated, hey, one way to kind of rationalize the idea where the Bitcoin price is up 10%, but the hash rate is down 15%. So even though revenue is low, if, if, the, if the bulls can pump this price enough, it makes sense for people to continue to mine Bitcoin. Right, because obviously it becomes more profitable as the price increases. So interesting idea here. Check this out. $200 million of USDT was printed. Money machine. Not anything amazing. Happens all the time. But USDT, this states from Whalebot Alerts, passed XRP's market cap with this print, not accounting for the XRP that's locked up. Now I went over and I checked on coin market cap, and it looks like XRP is slightly ahead buy $200 million. Maybe this is not reflected in the market cap yet, but can you imagine the number three cryptocurrency in this space is Tether. It's a stable coin and it's red. Remember, when you see Tether red, why is it red, right? And this is simple. Why is this red? Because people are selling their Tether and they're buying potentially Bitcoin with it at this point. There's, there's a ton. You want to talk about a pump phenomenon that could happen? You dump $8 billion, almost $9 billion in Tether into this market, man, epic gains. I've got to give a shout out to this gentleman. He's an ex-NBA ball player, came into the group and told us some stories or me some stories about how he used to just throw fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 at Vegas. And I was thinking, yeah, crypto will take your money just like Vegas. This is not the place to gamble. But today I made 1200 bucks. Yesterday I was up $1,500. And today, on Tuesday, I was up $500. I made $3,000 in two in three days. Watch the videos. He says, what Chris has put together in this group is priceless. I really want to say thank you, CBC, all those in the group that have been so amazing and assisting me when I needed it. Bitcoin dominance. Remember the tractor beam? Well, we're going in the wrong direction. However, you do have a possible double top on the Bitcoin dominance chart. And again, this is important because all coins bleed as this head high, heads higher. So we want the altcoin aficionados, the altcoin holders. They want to see Bitcoin dominance retrace get sucked into this tractor beam. And you know, this is a bearish pattern. If it, if it gets confirmed, there's some downside here and these altcoins will perform better. You wanna, you were looking for mini altcoin season, just come down into the green tractor beam. Crypto altcoins risk dangerous collapse as a three year triangle resolves. And what they're talking about here is this uh, total two. This is the total market cap of all of the altcoins. And, and you can see essentially it's, if it breaks this lower trend line, you know, there's some downside. Now I would say, you know, potentially there's a falling broadening wedge right here. Um, so I could, the thing about technical analysis is it's more of an art form than a science, right? I mean, everything's gonna come out in the wash and the price action is gonna tell us what was the most valid idea, right? So at this point, I just don't feel like there's enough touches for me personally down here. I do, I, yeah, I see obviously it's a trend line, but Again, I think I could get more touches here and, and maybe it's an expanding, broadening wedge, but it's all going to play out really soon. I wanna to talk to you guys about buy the rumor, sell the news. And, and we have a ton of new people in this space. We have a ton of new people in this, on the channel and understand that how crypto works is this. You're gonna get all types of altcoin news, dates, events, ask me anything, website redesigns. And there's this hype that builds up when, hey, we've got this new partnership coming out and we're gonna, we're gonna tell you what it is in a month. And you know, these projects kind of build up, build up, build that hype up. And so the idea is you buy the hype, but you sell the news because the news always lets people down, right? It's always built up like, this is gonna be the biggest partnership ever in the history of man. And then it's not quite, okay? And so you always get this hype rally buy the rumor, buy the hype, sell the news. You'll see a sell-off about two or three days before mainnet launches, different types of staking, hard forks. 
This is a really good list. You guys can access this. Follow me on Twitter, crypto BTC underscore Chris. This is a list of all the big dates coming up. You see Matic is transitioning to a mainnet. Tomo has Tomo decentralized exchange launch. Uh, there's Theta's got mainnet 2.0. Uh, Harmony has open staking, band mainnet launch. Ethereum Classic has Phoenix hard fork where it's gonna be able to basically run the Ethereum decentralized applications and, and projects real seamlessly on their blockchain. Zilliqa launch of staking, Cody X launch, Neo 3.0, we talked about this, this is gonna be big, nice setup for Neo. I, I remember 2017, you got a website redesign and these coins would pump 20%. Like we just redid the website, bye, bye, bye. It gets crazy. Everybody's like, dude, this is it. This is the future, we're just freaking taking off tomorrow. We're all gonna be freaking billionaires. Mainstream adoption's happening. Not yet, we're not quite there yet. Bitcoin searches hit a two year high. This is huge. This is huge. Well, how much upside is left for Bitcoin based on this idea? Are people gonna just take their profits and run? Latin America surging growth in digital payments may be boosting a Bitcoin. Listen, there's growth coming from all different directions. I went to the doctor today and he, I was, I was, you know, kind of just talking to him about, you know, the channel and we were talking about Ben Askren, who's a UFC fighter, who's all about Bitcoin and um, basically got on the subject and, and, and the, the, uh, the doctor is like, hey, let me show you this. Let me show you this. And like, you look in his eyes, like he was so excited and he went and he got this physical Bitcoin, right? This, this, this golden color Bitcoin. And he, he put in my hand, he's like, check this out, check this out. He's like, yeah, I always flip it when we're trying to decide what to do as far as, you know, where we're going to go for lunch in the office, da, da, da. But it's just cool to see there's, there's people. And he's telling me about a couple other doctors in the area that are real big and I need to organize meetups. And, and I'm just thinking, subscribe to the channel. No, but uh, so it's, it's real cool when you, when you meet people that have a, understanding of what we do on a daily basis. So Latin America, surging growth is happening all over. Wall Street is coming to Bitcoin. Here's why crypto institutional market just saw a massive turning point. Wall Street has been here. Wall Street trades a lot of futures. CME futures contract volume is, is all time highs. Open interest was crazy. Like, yeah, but, there, but there, it doesn't help the price of Bitcoin. Backed is physically backed at futures. But you just understand like Wall Street, they're on the fringes still. Problem with cryptocurrency, you guys have to remember is you have to store it. Is XRP outperforming Bitcoin? It's hard right now. Look at Bitcoin. Look what Bitcoin's doing. Bitcoin's on a tear. None of these altcoins are outperforming Bitcoin right now. Maybe there's a couple, but XRP is not one of them. So the most important thing here to understand, yeah, I had this short um, you know, posted about three weeks, two weeks ago, XRP. Here's your target and it's XRP's down here. This is shorts up about 15%. So Ripple is working on a loan offering that will work in connection with its XRP payment solution. I think this is brilliant. I think Ripple and XRP need to expand. They need to, banks aren't going to catch on fast enough, right? Banks are slow and archaic by nature, right? Go to an ATM machine and use an ATM machine and you'll know that, yeah, they're not, quite where they need to be, right? And so I think Ripple XRP is, is smart in kind of just expanding its horizons. There are three more days to get a Ledger Nano S and they're 50% off. Use the link, there's a link in the description. The code is we are the bull run. This is traditional markets and you can see right now it's slightly red, not amazingly red but if you look at the chart i mean essentially you got this rising wedge or rising channel 68 percent chance of a break to the downside and it did also you've got this double top so the question is if there's this downside for the s p 500 this is probably not this is not going to fall as fast as bitcoin yeah we had a, this crazy downturn right here but there's there's a good chance that this kind of slowly rolls over if it does right you could pull the measured move and see that over time It'll be, you know, it'll end up somewhere down here. So yeah, not a good sign for the S&P and hopefully Bitcoin stays decoupled because clearly you can see Bitcoin didn't get the memo. Omisigo surges after Coinbase announces support for the crypto asset. There's still a little bit of Coinbase effect out there. 
you know, these coins still pump 25% surge in OMG. So again, big moves. And this is the buy the rumor, sell the news type situation where a lot of times just when they announce that, hey, we're going to add this coin, that's when the that's when it pumps. But when they actually add the coin, it, it kind of sells off a lot of times, just depending. Cardano creator Charles Hoskinsons calls it like it is. He says one catalyst that triggers the exodus of Ethereum founders is the fact that Ethereum is not profit. It's non-profit. He says it's brain dead obvious that most people would pick a for-profit. So what he's talking about is Vitalik Buterin out of the eight out of the seven founders that initially founded Ethereum. Most of them left to build their own companies. Obviously, Charles Hoskinson was one of them. Like, yeah, there, there's a point where, like, who wants to work for free? You know, think about it. How do you feed your family? Obviously, Vitalik has a ton of Ethereum, so he's not starving, right? But just know that all these other developers moved and, and start their own projects. And that's essentially, like, you'll see a lot of these guys just jump from one project to the next onto the next because when it rubber hits the road and they got to make things happen main net launch time and they realize well this is it's easier to say we're going to do this than it is to actually do it then they just okay new project let's start over there's a cliche and i told you guys about this in, in, in cryptocurrency and it's buy the test net sell the main net right because it's all about the hype visa is seeking a patent for digital fiat currency i read this and i'm like thinking what they're working with the central bank. They want to make sure that the central bank has control over the digital dollars. They want to be able to control the volume and the value. This is all going to happen on digital currencies, which are on centralized computers, Visa, banks trying to take over. What's crazy is these governments, that obviously they can't stop Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, but they can definitely make it difficult. So this patent application itself is proof that private enterprises are willing to work with the government to reinvent how money works. Yeah, the, so I'm saying like the, our biggest competition is out there, right? Mainstream. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below with the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.